Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Bellevue Highlights. Tonight on this wonderful spring day, we're going to go over the rescue tools. We're going to go over an on-spot check that when we come up for maintenance nights or even when we come to the firehouse uh, and you're walking around the equipment to familiarize yourself with everything, we want to just kind of go over from A to Z uh, the proper way to set up the rescue tools uh, and to deploy them. And we're going to put it all together again so you guys can see it in a, uh, play out in a real scenario. So. So the first thing you're going to find in our rescue compartment is our Hymantro um, hydraulic pumps and then also our first dude bag is going to be right there as well. Some of the other things we have are our rescue hydraulic rams. We have all different size hoses, hydraulic hoses for our tools. We have our spreaders, our angle cutters, pedal cutter, two sets of O cutters, a combi tool, and then another set of spreaders. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Again, we want to go over the first in bag that you're going to find on squad 483. This will be located on the driver's side rear compartment. The expectation is when we arrive on scene, as the pump goes, so does this bag. And we want to put it in a widely accessible area, whether it's on a hood or a roof, where our units can gather these resources and deploy them if necessary. But now we're going to go over what's in this bag. We've had this bag throughout the last couple of years and all. We, recently, we just added and beefed up some of the things in there. What you're gonna find in there is this 20 volt DeWalt power Sawzall, okay? And one of the things with this is, this is gonna be nice because we can take windshields out with this as well. The proper way to do this is to ensure that this is in the locked position. The battery is charged. When we have to deploy this, we wanna go ahead and adjust this collar to the open position. And we're gonna slide the blade in. And we're gonna go ahead and close this. All right, we can unlock it and it's ready to go. Always ensure you have safety glasses and be very mindful what's on the other side anytime you're cutting with the Sawzall as well. Along with this, you're gonna find the, saw, uh, the Glass Master. Okay, these are two newly purchased Glass Masters. You're also gonna find a window punch. This is a multi-purpose tool. Everybody has their preference. We always wanna be very mindful that the glass and the powderized glass that when we're utilizing the power uh, so it's all like this or a glass master we're not breathing that stuff in pull your hood up or make sure you're not in the uh, flow of that the, uh, powderized glass so we can make our purchase point and we're going to demonstrate this on the vehicle tonight and then this is how we can go ahead and just in a sawtooth pattern like this back and forth we can remove the windshield we have wire cutters as well in case we get the door off and the electrical uh, connections are still in place we can go ahead and cut them we have pliers. You're gonna find multiple sets of window punches, uh, about 600 of them. Uh, everybody was supplied uh, window punches, wire cutters, safety glasses, and multi-purpose tool with the seatbelt cutter uh, in the beginning of this year, so everybody should have them. This is now just gonna be in this bag in the event that you misplaced it or you know it's being utilized somewhere else. We have a blanket for the victim, okay? And then safety glasses because we always need safety glasses when we don't have them. So we have about five or six pairs in this bag as well. We have 30 on the rescue squad. We have 30 on the fire engine as well. So the expectation is everybody on a rescue incident should have eye protection on at all times. You're gonna find this, all these items in this bag. Again, this is to be deployed as the first pump goes. Okay, and we wanna uh, continue. We're gonna go over this tonight as well. You'll be able to see this actual uh, deployed in action. So. Thanks for tuning in and uh, stay tuned for some more of the video tonight. Thank you. All right, everybody. So now we're going to demonstrate how to make a purchase point with the glass master. And we're going to go halfway down the windshield to demonstrate how it's done. Then we're going to switch over to the Sawzall to show you how to use the Sawzall. Take this end of the glass master. Make yourself a nice little hole up top in the corner. Like that. Wiggle all around so your hole's big enough. Switch the ends around to your blade. And just like a normal saw, back and forth. Now we're going to switch over to the Sawzall.
on the side, there's a little lock part. You take the lock part, flip that up so it opens up where the blade goes in. Stick your blade in, let the lock part go down, blade's locked in. Make sure your lock's off. Stick your blade in, hand on top so you're pressing down so it doesn't go crazy everywhere. Very quick. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into the Bellevue Highlights. Uh, this is where you're going to locate the rescue tools on Squad 483. You're also going to locate that goes hand in hand with the rescue tools, step chocks and cribbing on the officer side rear compartment. We also have rescue jacks located in this compartment right here. Tonight what we're going to simply do is just show you the proper way when you come up and take a duty or we do Monday night checks uh, for maintenance night. The simple and proper way to pull these pumps out and connect the tools and to make sure they're ready for action. So when you do a spot check on the rescue tools, you want to grab a tool out, a pump, and then you're also going to grab a hose. And we're going to take all this to a well-ventilated area. So with our pumps, you want to make sure they have fuel in them, which it's filled. Then you also want to make sure that the hydraulic oil is filled. That's good to go. And then with our pumps, we leave them turned on and you're gonna find the on and off switch right here. So that's off, that's on. And then you also wanna make sure that the choke is on. So when we're out on the road, it's ready to go. So now we're gonna teach you how to connect the hydraulic hose to the pump itself. They simply, for the hose, you just pull the cap straight off. And then for the pump, you push in and twist to the right and it pops the cap right out. And then you're gonna connect your hose into your pump. And make sure you hear it click and then it's secure and ready to go. And so now we're gonna connect our hydraulic tool to the hydraulic hose itself. And with the tool, it's the same thing. It's just a cap that simply pulls off. And then once we connect our hose to our tool, it's a simple push and make sure it twists and clicks on. And now it's ready to go. So if you ever find trouble with trying to hook the hydraulic hose to the tool itself, that means there's pressure inside of the tool. And with this little knob right here, it's a simple lefty-loosey twist off. And then once this is off, you can bring it over to your tool and you slide it on and you twist down and it's gonna release all the pressure to the connection. And then you should be able to connect the hose right to the tool.
everybody for tuning into the Bellevue highlights tonight. Uh, the goal for tonight was simply to go over the complement of tools we have on Rescue Squad 483, in addition to the first in bag that we recently just uh, enhanced with uh, the sawzall and a few other various pieces of equipment. Uh, stay tuned for an additional uh, Bellevue highlight coming up. And uh, again, thanks for tuning into the Bellevue, Bellevue highlights. highlights.